Hello everyone, welcome to episode 72 of this awesome, super amazing, crazy Osu Let's Play series. Woo, let's go, let's go! <laughs> In the last episode, I talked about graveyarded maps and I guess showed you some iconic ones, at least in my mind. <laughs> and in this episode, I want to talk about this idea known as aim tapping synchronization. Basically, actually tapping when your cursor is on the note rather than like aiming to it and then leaving and then tapping. Like there's this sort of synchronization that I think is really, really important. So I wanna talk about that and get into that and talk about how you can train it and some causes as to why it may have been not well trained for you i guess as a new player especially but before i get into all that stuff i'd like to shout out as usual that i live stream every single day over at twitch.tv so if you would like to hang out with me or watch me play this game live or ask me questions anything like that please please stop by say hello and also bonus points if you tell me that you came from this let's play series we'll be very very happy to see you there so yes let's get started so let's actually play some like really low star stuff to, I guess, demonstrate this. So I sort of already described it, but this idea of aim tapping synchronization is that you want to actually have your cursor. How do I describe this? So when, okay, so there's a difference between like, okay, I actually, I think it probably makes sense to everyone watching. I'm pretty sure, but like, see how I'm actually, like, landing in the middle of each circle? And then actually tapping, rather than, um... Okay, okay. It's actually hard to demonstrate bad aim tapping sync on a one-star map, but... Hopefully you guys sort of get the idea of, like, what exactly it should look like ideally. Uh -oh, let me actually just play a higher diff now. <laughs> but... Yes, let's see. So I think this idea is really important for aim consistency especially you'll find okay so i want to probably start by saying that i think people who play with the relax mod have a really hard time with this because the relax one is very very lenient and okay i feel like this episode is actually just going to end up being like why you shouldn't play relax but what happens when you mostly play with the relax mod is that you're practicing your aim but in a vacuum when in reality this game is sort of all you know like it's all about the synchronization between both your aim and tapping because relax is very lenient you can land your cursor over a circle for one millisecond and then the game will tap for you on that specific millisecond and getting that sort of positive feedback oh, of like, oh, you know, I actually hit the note right, but in reality, you did not. <laughs> and I think if you if you've ever watched your gameplay in like a miss analyzer or something to like in non relaxed gameplay and like trying to figure out how exactly you missed, you'll find that probably you your cursor was over the note for a little bit, but that's just like you didn't tap when your cursor was over the note. Like if you over aim, for example, then your cursor actually passed through the note entirely. But if you were playing with relax, then the game would actually tap for you, like in the time that your cursor was over the note. So getting positive feedback from those sorts of miss aims, because like when you're playing with relax, then you're like, oh shoot, you know, I'm actually hitting these notes kind of. And then you realize that like, you take off relax and then your aim is actually complete garbage like you can't really hit anything even though it feels like your curse is over everything like your tapping is just not aligned and this is exactly the reason why people suggest to not actually play relax if you want to get better because if you play okay let me clarify this so if you only want to be able to play the relax mod comfortably then you know by all means you should just play relax but using the relax mod as practice for aim doesn't work the way you would hope it would because well yeah hopefully that sort of makes sense i think the only merit of like a type of pattern that the relax mod could help with like raw aim like training is probably flow aim because i think missings on flow aim are heavily like 
rooting based as well and like you know not hitting corners or something like that so if you just want to focus on like raw you know and i i think like practicing relax on flow aim patterns as well sort of helps with reading them without needing to worry too much about the tapping aspect but obviously you know like i said i think the tapping synchronization is huge so you shouldn't be like oh you know if i can hit it with relax then i should be able to hit it normally right honestly autopilot is kind of similar but to a lesser extent because oh what nice lag spike <laughs> This game. So the autopilot mod, so autopilot is where the cursor moves for you and you just have to tap. That could be good also for like uh like raw tapping practice or like maps that you don't require any aim anyway. Such as like you know, just like obviously long stream practice maps or something like that, where you're really only focused on your tapping. In those cases, then it's actually fine. Like Flamingo, for example, if you guys have seen my video on Flamingo, it's okay to just use Relax, or I mean, Relax, <laughs> Autopilot. But yeah, let's see. Hopefully that makes sense. I, I've talked to a lot of people about how like their aim is really, really inconsistent and it sort of tends to stem from having played the Relax mod so much when they were a new player. And... I, I'm pretty sure that's like the leading cause from what I've seen for like aim, aim you know, this this whole issue of aim tapping synchronization. Um, one thing I think that helps for training is like trying to land in the middle of the circles when you play this game. And that is something that auto method does a really, really good job with. Banger, let's go. But yeah. Auto method, I think, is the most powerful way to like get to the root cause of aim tapping synchronization and like practice it at a very fundamental level. But yeah, there's like, I think, I think consistency is heavily dependent on this idea as well, and I would say just aim stability in general. Though I guess aim stability and aim tapping synchronization are uh, or aim, aim what is it aim stability and consistency are already known to be pretty closely connected um, yeah as a quick refresher of ocphd what is it consistency is basically just a combination of the fundamental control skills so finger control cursor control and raw reading but yes, if you, okay, so if you've gotten to this part of the video and you're like, okay, my, like, you're definitely describing me perfectly. Like I played relaxed for like a year when I started playing and now I'm trying to get into normal gameplay, but my fundamentals are so messed up and how, how do I fix that? I think that comes down to taking it really slow. Like probably if your fundamentals for aim tapping sync are that bad, then you probably will have trouble with two to three star maps. So but just practicing like landing in the middle of each circle and then actually tapping when your cursor is in the dead middle of each note. And that is basically auto method. So doing that on like one star and like maybe two star maps as well is the best way to reverse it. But it takes so long. Um, well, it can take a long time if you, especially if it's like a really bad habit. But yeah, you definitely want to, oh wait, apparently I got really close on one of these hits. That's interesting. But yeah, let's see. Oh shoot. Okay, yeah. So it's a lot of practice, I think. And this is probably one of those things that people worry about when they're like really new and they want to like improve quote unquote in the right way and want to make sure they don't build any bad habits for themselves. Definitely avoiding the relax mod is one of the best things you can do, I think. You don't really want to... Hmm, let me think. So, there is a difference between, like, doing what will make you better, or, like, doing something that will help you improve, and doing something that will make you get a better score. It's, it's kind of like, if you try to do exercise with no weights, obviously you'll be able to do the movements more easily. 
but are you really gaining that much, right? Especially in the long run. You could do it just to know like how the movement is supposed to feel when like you're strong enough to do it with the weights. But just doing like a certain like movement, like I don't know, like pretending to lift a dumbbell except there's no dumbbell in your hand, right? Like hopefully even if you guys have never really like lifted, you know, weights before then, it should probably still make sense that like you don't really get stronger by doing that, obviously. So like the biggest thing is like maybe you'll get more comfortable with like the actual arm movement and like what it's supposed to feel like but even still just because you know what it's supposed to feel like doesn't mean you'll be able to do it with an actual weight so and the same thing sort of applies to osu like it's not really about like getting like the craziest score and like oh i can play 10 star maps but like only with relax and it's like uh can you really then it's like hmm <laughs> An interesting way to describe your skill level because yeah, this game is all about just connecting the three fundamental control skills basically like aim tapping reading and uh, I don't know I, th I think just be careful not to get baited by like oh you know I just want to be able to play this map and playing with relax is so awesome and it'll help me get better at the actual game um actually now that I think about it Try not to get baited also, when people say like you should isolate the different skills, then uh, try not to conclude that like, oh, if I can play a map with Relax and then if I can also play it with Autopilot, then I'll be able to play it normally too. Like just, you know, just put the two together. <laughs> but unfortunately, it doesn't really work like that because the whole point of like actually playing the game is that you're doing them at the same time and in synchronization. This map is insane, by the way. Look at that. Look at that guy. Holy crap. I, I never realized that this map has a video. Or, yeah, I guess it's a video, right? Crazy. <gasps> Yo, doubles. Okay, so cut double streams are actually so crazy in this game. Hmm. Let's see. Impromptu discussion on, on how to get better at those. Aim tapping synchronization. Okay, obviously... Honestly, I feel like... If you practice, like, just landing in the middle of, like the circles in every map that you play it actually helps a lot but like even for things like cut streams but let me think so chunking also obviously i think for cut streams i think nothing beats getting better at chunking when it comes to cut streams which is basically like grouping the sec like grouping the patterns into smaller and more digest more digestible sections and then like playing each of those chunks one at a time Oh, if you guys did not see, so I did a coaching session a couple days ago and I ended up uploading it to my YouTube channel. So I will link that in the description if you guys are interested. But yeah, hopefully my points are sort of clear. My four warnings, like ultimately, if you want to just get better at relax and you don't really care about quote unquote the main game or like the normal style of playing this game, then you know, you're more than welcome to just play Relax forever. But if you would ever want to switch to actually playing the game with tapping, then you're going to want to be very careful about playing too much Relax. So, yeah, hopefully that is sort of clear. A bit of a shorter episode, but I don't think there's really much else for me to add. So, it's a quick little video on aim tapping synchronization. Ultimately, if you want to practice it, then go sort of go back to square zero for a little bit and specifically with auto method and deliberately trying to aim in the middle of each circle is i think the best thing you can do for sort of combating or reversing like the like poorly poorly learned fundamentals of aim tapping synchronization so yes with that thank you guys for watching this episode and if you have suggestions for future topics, please, please leave them in the comment section because I do read all the comments on these videos. And uh, let's see, if you are watching in the future, do check out my channel and watch my other videos because I have so many videos on my channel now about a bunch of different OSU related topics. So definitely check out my channel and my other videos. And if you are able to stop by my Twitch streams, we'll be very happy to have you all stop by, hang out with me, say hello, things like that. And um, yeah, with that, see you guys next time.